Hey everyone and welcome back again to Robot Boy and in this video we're going to be taking a look at No Man's Sky Next, the new update for No Man's Sky coming to PS4, PC and now Xbox as well. Uh, along with Wii Game, which is essentially the Chinese version of Steam, uh, as far as I'm aware, what I've been managed to what I've managed to gather, that's what that is. So some big stuff, and we have a lot to talk about before the new update comes out. Not a lot to go on, as always. That's just the way it is. But uh, yeah, we're going to be talking about what next as a word could mean. This is the type of level that we're at now, everyone. We're breaking down four letters. But let's get right into it. Today we're going to start by analysing the word next, discussing the significance of it for being the full title of the new update, and what this could all mean for the game and for the community. So if you remember all the way back to January of this year, yes, I know, that seems like a very long time ago, when the ARG started up again and everyone started receiving their Atlas passes, we were introduced to the word Phoenix. And this became a very big talking point. And now here we are in April and I will stand by my connotations of that word for the next update. And yeah, it's all adding up. It's going to be a rebirth, everyone. And in fact, even more than a rebirth, I think No Man's Sky next is going to be a spiritual sequel to No Man's Sky 1.0. If we analyse this from a development cycle perspective, two years is a perfectly solid time frame to allow your game to run its life. And after that, you're probably going to want to move the game into new territory, step away from what it originally was, and build it into something bigger and further from what it was originally. Next is that step, and quite literally the next phase of No Man's Sky as a product, of No Man's Sky as a universe, of No Man's Sky as a game of No Man's Sky as a project as a whole from Hello Games. So next, the word. It's not a something update like the Atlas Rises update, the Pathfinder update or version 1. This. It's literally almost being rebranded as No Man's Sky Next. The Xbox version isn't called No Man's Sky Next, it's still just called No Man's Sky, but they're kind of referring to it as No Man's Sky Next being the next stage, so it's pretty, pretty important. And I do go into more details about the importance of Xbox as a whole being involved in another one of my videos, which you can check out, shameless plug, but for it to be launched on a brand new platform with some obvious support from the other system, there's got to be something happening behind the scenes that, that these guys know about, that these people know about, to warrant this level of hype and promo backing from Microsoft themselves. If it was just a simple port, that could have been done, no fuss, just like, hey guys, No Man's Sky's coming out on Xbox next week. Yeah, that's it. But bringing it over with this huge new update at the same time, there's gotta be something there that Microsoft are sold on and know is gonna be massive, otherwise they wouldn't be getting their teeth into this. So we know this, I know, Sean even said it himself, that this will be the biggest update so far. It's confirmed. But looking at all of these additional details surrounding the announcement of Next and what's going to happen with it, it just makes me so excited to think that this is even more than just another update like Atlas Rises. It's a whole new relaunch and something that will take us so far away from what the game was or you know, even where we are at 1.3, it's going to be super exciting. So let's look at what the word Next specifically. Does it stand for something? You know, is it an acronym? Potentially, we might find out later, maybe Waking Titan will reveal something more about it. Uh, as it is capitalized, it's not, it, this is leading to people think that it could indeed be an acronym. However, I think it's more to just draw attention to it as being a status rather than a word. If it was just No Man's Sky next in lowercase, like capital N and then lowercase EXT, it would kind of look like a sentence that hadn't been finished if you were seeing it around being promoted. No Man's Sky Next, you'd be like, No Man's Sky Next, what, has someone written this incorrectly? What's going on? Whereas No Man's Sky Next, capitalized Next, is like, boom, yep, it, we are a state of being, bruh. Next is a state of being. People have linked the X in the word Next to being the Atlas symbol, 
Uh, if you look in the reflection at the bottom, it does hint that that's what it's trying to represent. And we've also had clues relating to the word mirror littered throughout this phase of Waking Titan. However, I'm not going to look too far into that, I would say, for this logo, for the time being at least. Um, I think it's just more of a clever logo design and a little nod to the Atlas if there's something you're interested in, rather than anything too deep and meaningful, at least for the time being. So, next. It's a big thing. Uh, the word itself, I wasn't a big fan at first, I'm going to be honest. I thought it was a bit weak, and I was a bit like, what the heck? Next? What is this? This is a bit weird. But actually, when you consider that we've had these awesome names, such as Atlas Rises, Foundation, Pathfinder in the past, I was a bit thrown off. But the more I think about it, and the significance of this word, the more important it seems to be, and the more excited it makes me for this update. Oh my word, I'm so hyped. That's it everyone, please do leave your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. What do you think the significance of next means in relation to the future of No Man's Sky? And are you excited for the new update? And of course, when do you think the new update will drop? As always, please give the video a like if you enjoyed it and do subscribe to join me on this journey if you haven't done so already. And with that, I'll see you all in the next video.